Hello, friends. Sorry, you're like, who is this guy at this point? Well, I could get into why I've been absent for so long. You know, you could blame it on checking into a mental health facility. Blame it on anything else but self. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it's all good. We're back, and um, uh, we got an exciting video today. I'm trying a little card out for you guys. It's called the Dab Woods. You no, know? so let's just bust into it and get to where we need to be. It's also like a disposable, so you don't really have to have a battery for it. You just take it right out, and you're in brighter places. Mama. I just look at me. I, they gotta make this shit kid friendly, bro. Like, well, you gotta understand when I'm opening this shit up, I'm gonna rip it up just like a child does. But the only thing is, I can't really ask for a uh, disposable THC cartridge to be made child friendly. You know, it just doesn't really. You know, my dad, remember he said that he started smoking weed at 12. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <clears throat> hey, but that's all life is, right? Decisions and the consequences that come with them. Ooh, hello. Little plastic viewing window. I like that. On everything. Oh, shit. Here we go. That's pretty. That's sleek. If you're new here, all we do is just vibe, you know, whether I'm high or not. But I do like to get high in my pastime, and so I like to document it because I feel like I get kind of interesting, you know? And I feel like it helps just alleviate some pain that you feel in your day-to-day -day life by looking at my dumbass exist in this world. Here we go. Cheers. I'm with you. Well, that's not right. Oh, it's stuck. See what I do when it's stuck is you kind of got to suck it like a straw, just like. Crazy thing is, crazy thing is for real, instant high, instant high, instant elevation. You know, it's like you're driving into Colorado and like you get over that first little hump and then your ears start popping. You're like, oh shit. Ask the person next to you, your ears popping too? And they say no, you're like, damn, I'm going through this alone. Just like everything else in life. Cheers, let's do another one. Hey, that's not true. We're never alone. We always think we are, right? Our bodies, our minds trick us into being like, I'm the only one feeling this. One thing I've learned is none of our experiences are universal. Or wait, all of them are. <laughs> Sorry. You're probably like, what the hell? That's nice. Yeah, you know, I haven't posted a YouTube video in a while. Hey, if you've been watching me, I'm sorry. A lot has happened. And the last thing I've wanted to do is just pull out a camera and start talking. And it sounds like, like oh, well, you, that's what you want to do for a living, right, Gumby? Pull out this camera and start talking. What's so difficult about it? I'd love to do that. And it's just like, for me, I'm like, well, I got to find something interesting. And I could get into all that all day. All I'm saying is I love you and I'm back. I feel the creative push to make this and I'm glad that we can have this moment so let's just enjoy this moment come on let's get another one I got on a new antidepressant called Wellbutrin. I know it's pretty popular out there, but for a long time I'd been treating my bipolar without an antidepressant. I was taking an antipsychotic called Abilify, a mood stabilizer called Lamictal. And while it had helped like maintain somewhat of this stable mood where I wasn't shooting way high, I still found myself falling in these dips. And it kind of removed the best part, in my opinion, of my disorder, which was like these moments where I felt like Superman, you know? And not in a destructive way. I don't deal with like the harsh mania where like, you know, psychosis is involved. I don't know, I, I can channel into that now, but it's just different when I'm feeling so much depression. So I added Wellbutrin and I have just been in kind of a kinder space. It took a couple of weeks for me to like really notice any effects, but uh, yeah, it's definitely put me in a good, good space. So I'm just trying to stay optimistic and yeah. I don't know, how are you doing over there? You know what I mean? We're all trying to figure it out. I know some of you are on medication, some of you aren't. You know, I respect all of your opinions and beliefs. I just feel like if you're on the edge about taking medication, there are medications out there that save lives. My life has been saved by psychiatric medication. And yes, we know the dark side of pharmacology. We've seen the terrible history. And under capitalism, we get fucked by big pharma in the name of the dollar. And they've caused trauma on our society as a whole. However, that is true. We can hold that in one hand. 
But all great truths aren't either or, they're and both. And on the other hand here, we have the incredible breakthroughs that modern psychiatry has granted us in these past 10 years alone, five years alone, one year, what's happening right now? Even Big Pharma is gearing up to push out psilocybin, which is the active ingredient in psychedelic mushrooms. Do I think that's a good thing? Absolutely not. But what I'm saying is there is legitimacy within this field, even though there is a lot of darkness too, there is a lot of smart people working on this shit. And at the end of the day, these medications have saved countless lives. And you can hear that from people probably in these comments. And I'm not a big creator at all. I get like a couple thousand views a video, but those who fuck with me and ride with me, I ride with you back. So I'm sorry I've been leaving you in the dark. It's almost like a relationship, dude. And I'm out here not putting any effort. I apologize. I got to do it for you too. And that's what I got to remind myself. Like it's not all me, me, me. Like I got to show up for you as well. And I think framing in that way is actually going to help me keep creating consistently. So, uh, yeah, hit a like on the video. If you vibe and if you like me, just ranting about nothing. I don't even know what the hell I said right now, but this dab woods is doing me right. Let's go for another one. All I'm saying is nothing's black and white. It's always gray, man. There's always, it's both. It's all great truths are both. Check out my new vape I just got, y'all. It's a Vapor Resso, XROS Mini. I did all my research on Reddit and shit because it's a refillable, it's nicotine, right? But it's refillable because it saves me so much money. Dude, I'll be going through disposable Elf Bars. Like literally, I'll finish an Elf Bar in two days because they're so goddamn good. Like the flavor on the refillable isn't as potent. It just isn't. Like it's still more of a nice subtle flavor. And I, if you know the right flavors, I get Juicy Monster, they go crazy. It'll save you so much money, better for the environment. I mean, we don't talk about that, but like that shit is not good. Like this is much better for the environment and your wallet. Now you are sacrificing a little bit of that, that flavor, but the thing is about, and I was interested in it, right? I was like, why is it that I'm not getting so much of that rich juiciness that I'm getting from the Elf Bars and the Esco Bars and the whatever those hell bars that we got. Why am I not experiencing that experience when it comes to the flavor? Well, the theory is there's a cotton wick in every vape, right? In order to like make the vapor, I don't know all the science on it, but all I'm saying is there's a cotton wick. There's same within the refillable ones, right? And that thing has to be soaked to like really absorb the flavor. And when your juice gets low, it gets, it gets nasty because like it's drying out. It has to stay damp. Well, the disposables a lot of times they're sitting on the shelf or in the factory sometimes up to a couple of months before they're purchased right so when you get that thing and you just rip it open it's so satisfying you rip open the packaging take it off take the little lid off the top the little sticker off the bottom and take that first little crackle you're hit with an overwhelming sense of joy really in satisfaction. That's because that whole time that you have been doing your little life thing, all the way up until you walked into that store and fucking got the vape, that thing's been going through a story of its own and it's been sitting, that wick has been sitting and absorbing all that flavor, right? The juice is just sitting in there, just, hey, it got nowhere to go except the wick because it's like, fuck, I've been in here so long, jump into the wick, you know, become one with the wick. It's a beautiful story, really. Star-crossed lovers, for real, cheers. Two at once, oh, anyways, oh. Sorry, I just skipped out on both those hits, but I just got really excited to tell you. Anyways, I did a bunch of research on the best refillable, and so far I'm loving it. It's the, fuck, I damn near forgot. Vapor Resso, which is on brand, by the way, because you know my ass be drinking shit straight out the tap. I talk about it on my TikTok all the time. Straight from the tap, the source. The source, bro. Aldi. Dude, I'm just putting y'all onto some fucking game right now, bro. Aldi, for real. <sighs> All this just to feel normal, eh? Sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I miss the I miss the ghost, and I'm not gonna blame it on the AC or the fan that's going on right above me, because clearly it's that and not me. Um, but I just, I'm sending love and I hope one day, you know, we need to start a GoFundMe to like get me like some training lessons, like one-on-one -on -one coaching with how to get ghosts and hails because there was a little small time frame in like my little video history that I was hitting them consistently. Like I had it for a second. Um, and maybe cause I was making so many videos, you know, so let's keep this thing going. You gotta, if it's good, keep a good thing going. You know, it's that simple. Why have I been fucking up the whole time? It's that simple. If it's good, keep it going. It's a self-sabotage thing. 
You know, I think I deserve to be in the in the struggle that comes with like hiding away from the world, I guess. And like I did, I think I deserve that. But learning, learning, and like I'll keep you posted on my therapy journey because there's about to be a lot of healing soon. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be starting starting to make a lot of videos that. I'm not getting high in, you know? I just feel like I love just getting zooted and I just wanna talk when I do and I just feel really heard and through this platform. Even if I get 100 views, you know? It's, it's for me too. It's obviously for you and for you to like take something from it. Like I know that's my why, that's my purpose. But it's for me too and it feels good just to, just to talk. This Wellbutrin's starting to work because I just kind of feel a little bit lighter. I'm also high right now. I haven't smoked all day. Do you ever get nervous? Are you single? I heard you fuck your girl, is it true? You getting money? You think them you with is with you? And I said, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Fucking right, fucking right, all right. We say hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh. All my exes live in Texas like I'm George Strait Or they go to Georgia State where tuition is handled by some random That live in Atlanta that she only see when she feel obligated Never waited, I took her for sushi, she wanted to fuck So we took it to those of them don't even play And we never talked too much after I blew up Just a hello, a happy belated Hey yo, y'all wanna see my room real quick? Bro, look at this Me and my girlfriend just got done cleaning it Uh, still got a little bit of laundry to do, right? But... I'm gonna get a headboard right here soon Okay, this is getting washed I'm gonna get a headboard right here. I'm gonna put a little picture up of it. It's gonna be clean as hell. Got this going. I wanna get like a tapestry right here. Um, we got a little wall, little, you know. Oh, hold on. Who that? Who? Uh, oh, whoa! Thing turned sideways on me. Look at this thing. It went limp. Look at this. Why is it hanging like that? Why is it hanging like that? Thumbnail? Fuck it. Wait, hold on. I'm not even doing that. I'm doing a fucking review. God, I'm so silly. I thought I was... I'm sending love. Thanks for coming out. For real. Can I set you up somewhere? Check it out. My lava lamp's not on right now. Or is it? Oh, no. It's not. Oh, well. Hey. Thanks for coming to my review. Seriously. Sorry. It's too intimate. You know what I mean? I gotta get too serious in here. Let's get one more hit and then for real I'm done with this video. Hope you've been vibing. I like the dab carts. I wish I was sponsored so I could eat like more than just rice and beans. <laughs> um, don't, f oh, don't forget the fucking cereal. Had three sandwiches, three peanut butter sandwiches today. Mmm. I just can't get enough. I don't want to let you go. I'm sorry. I don't know if my YouTube fan follows me on TikTok, but I was so grateful yesterday because I get in my head a lot about like posting content and that's why I've been away from YouTube too. It's just like the whole perception thing fucks with me, but I want to align with my why and remember why I'm doing this in the first place. And uh, yeah, so I basically have had a couple of shit posts lately, just like really just shit posts on TikTok that have been succeeding. But it's been like several months since I went over a million views. Well, this last video I posted within 24 hours, hours it got over a million views and I'll be honest I kind of manifested it but like I didn't know it was gonna pop at first but right when I saw it get to like 17k likes and like 60k views I was like okay I feel like I'm onto something and then right before I went to bed it was at like 300 400 thousand I was like I feel like I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and it's gonna be over a million like I'm it's, I just I got a feeling well it got over a million so I'm just glad that I can make an impact and it just makes me feel so seen and I, I hope I make other people feel seen too I'm gonna run it Sometimes I wish I'd never been born at all. Hey, you can't tell me I didn't eat that though. You can't tell. Hey, dab me up. Dab me up. And I, I'm, I'm not a singer. I'm not a singer. I'm just a dude that likes to express. So I'm glad that my little expressions can create ripples in this reality. It's pretty cool because shit on there, it turns into real life. So my goal is just to keep going on social and like make these connections and have these mutuals that I look up to that have these massive followings that are just like putting out things that I fuck with in the sense of like doing it for the right reasons, having the right intentions, living their authentic self by doing like it's all great. 
and I've been really lucky with who I've met and it's only just begun. So please stick around. You're going to see some crazy growth and, and not in the ways any of us expect. I'm going to document all this, but not in ways any of us expect. I just feel like I'm getting lucky with some things and I just like need to keep creating that luck. Luck is a huge variable in success, but luck doesn't come out of nowhere and you still have to shoot your shot, right? Like luck is where preparation meets opportunity. Like I've met people through TikToks that like I thought I would never meet. Sure, it was lucky that like social media, they came across my content, but like if I would have never thrown that shot out there and had the boldness and braveness to step into my own and like, yeah, this is me. Like I'm standing out from the crowd for a second and falling into myself like this is me, you know? And I just really appreciate you for giving me that space as well. So I could go on and on. I'm just sending lots of love and thanks for coming out to today's little vibe sash. I needed it. Um, that's why I wanna keep I, I wanna keep this going forever, but you know how it goes. Do you? I mean, <laughs> maybe we do stay around. Let's do one more. See, it's always when I say goodbye that I'm like, no, why does it, why does, why does there have to be goodbyes? Why was goodbye, goodbye was invented by like, Big Farewell. Big Farewell been trying to put their money in politicians' wallets to be talking about, oh, you gotta say goodbye to people, when really we should always be saying hello. There should, you know what I'm saying? Hello should be universal. Like Mahalo, they were onto something. I'm pretty sure I meant aloha. Sometimes when I'm high, I just be spazzing. But you feel where the heart's at, you know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, like, I be fumbling over my words sometimes. Like, I do feel like I'm a fairly well-spoken man. I just feel like at times I don't pronounce words how you're supposed to, and I just get, well, because on TikTok, like, you'll get called out for that shit. That's the only thing is, like, every, down to each and every single word you'll get critiqued for, you know, hyper-analyzed on the internet. People can watch your one video of yours for this long time and just, like, analyze the fuck out of it and then notice things that you didn't even notice. It's kind of trippy, you know? Um, and sometimes it makes me overanalyze my shit because sometimes I just put content out there and don't think at all. And then like, I get like, you know, the analysis by some people on it. And then I'm like, whoa, I'm like, and it makes me more self-aware, which is great, but I kind of like the ignorance. And I wish that I just, well, and that's why I kind of shelter myself. You know, I don't consume that much content anymore. I really don't scroll on TikTok. I watch some YouTube videos, but really I just hang around here and smoke and fucking listen to music and try to create. And I want to start doing that more with you. So stay tuned for real. We're going to see. I'm on a little streak right now, even though this is my first video back. It just feels so good. And I always know how good it feels. And I always say it every time. It's just, it's just like working out. It's the things that we, our brains trick ourselves into not doing the things that will ultimately help us. So uh, going to reflect on that. Damn, my sinuses. I always, my sinuses always act up when I'm high. Cause you're gonna be high. I'm a rocket man. All right, family. Well, I appreciate you. If you've really rocked with me all the way till here, you're a vibe. Thank you. I really appreciate you kicking it with me. Dab me up again. Stay good, stay easy. You know, do, do people say that? Do people say, I don't know. Uh, but just stay up is what I'm trying to say. I know it's a hard world out there and you gotta remember we got each other, right? And we have love. We, we're all of us, all of us need love. I feel like that every human's deepest need is to be loved ultimately, right? I mean, think about when you're a baby, you first come out of the womb, you need love to like survive as a baby. You need that constant touch and care and attention, right? So I feel like at the end of the day, love is very important. And I've talked about it in other videos, it transcends all the bullshit that's, you know, I voted for Beto a couple days ago in my election, then Abbott wins. And I'm like, just like, wow, that means like several more years of like these type of ideologies being our reality and literal rights like being stripped away I and mean, it's sad and who knows it's a slippery slope who knows what could come from just that are we going after lgbtq next like what's what's the next plot in the agenda i have a feeling i don't even want to get into that doomerous shit all i'm saying is we need to tune in to love and hope and compassion and vulnerability and communication those spiritual principles whether you believe it in spiritual or not like those are spiritual principles that are built into us and they transcend the system of capitalism and of the way of life of waking up every day to go to work and putting on all these hours you know and 
I do OnlyFans, right? So I'm in a privileged position where I haven't had to since last November. It's actually been a year now since I moved into this apartment. That's actually crazy as fuck. It's been a year. And I have learned a lot about myself, what it means just to live on own. And I've been cooped up in here a lot. I'm grateful. I'm, I'm, I'm upset at the system for how much rent is and how it's literally gone up so much. My homeboy was paying half the price that we're now paying of rent four years ago. What's gonna happen in another four years? You know what I'm saying? If it's already doubled in this four years and everything's getting worse, like I don't even wanna think about it, right? It's scary. We gotta pay to survive. We have to work because we have to pay to survive. That's the game, right? But out, and the game takes up a lot of our reality. So we gotta play the game in some level. And I'm realizing that. And I'm playing, I'm trying to play the game outside the game, which is a game in and of itself, but it's like outside of the game, but it still is encompassed by the game. There's, there's a lot of new ones. All I'm saying is like, I love you, you know? I love you for being here. And not even for being here in this little video, but like being here in this world, operating with a conscious experience just like us, you know? You're valid. Your thoughts are no more important than mine. I think that we all have equal footing. You know, people like to say, oh, that person's an NPC. I'm like, bro, no, that is a real live, breathing human having their own conscious experience and your conscious experience can negatively impact theirs and like, it has to be validated in the fact that we're social beings and we do care what other people think and they can affect us. Words won't hurt me. Like, no, we're social beings. We're wired to be affected by people's shit. And I know that's all not like the best answer for people with anxiety, but there's better ways to cope with anxiety than just like writing people off is like dehumanizes people ultimately and it gives you even more of a disconnect for when you want to make connection because human connection is like so important to us thriving i could go on and on i need to start a podcast god damn it maybe i'll make a little voice memo or i'll turn this into a little podcast but i don't have the proper mic right now i'm just recording outside of uh, just with the camera mic, so I bet this shit is ass. I'm sorry, the AC was just on. I hope that doesn't make a difference. I really do. I'm sending so much love. Thank you so much for coming out. Leave a comment if you're vibing. Leave a like, something. Please, I will try to respond to as many as I can. See you soon, okay? Mwah.